Hello, this is Shelly15, a quick update video for you. Although this video is not as elaborate as previous update videos. Well, not to say that those were elaborate, that elaborate in the first place, but in any case, it's just me talking. Um, I'm gonna get right to it. I've been deleting a number of videos today on my YouTube channel. Minor videos, not, not that important videos. Uh, what I mean is like unlisted videos, private videos, and a number of uh, older update videos and teasers and trailers and previews and a lot of you know a lot of stuff that feels outdated not necessary for this channel so I've been uh, I've been reducing the number of videos on this channel overall um, and the reason well there's actually two reasons like the first reason is just simply um, I, I, I always wanted to I always wanted to do a sort of a house cleaning on this channel <clears throat> so basically just get rid of all the unnecessary stuff that is uh, Like I said outdated uh, That includes also the Q&A videos by the way. I've deleted them as well uh, I've only kept the very first one the the 30 the 30,000 subscribers uh, special video I kept that one, but all the other ones I've deleted and um, All the all the mostly uh, all the update videos, um, actually all the older ones, but I'm going to delete the new ones as well, including this one in, cu in a couple of days. And that's about it, that's the, that's the main reason, it's just doing a bit of house cleaning. The second reason is somewhat linked to, well, to COPPA. Now I'm not gonna start explaining to you what COPPA means, what FTC means. I mean, there's a number of videos on YouTube right now that pretty well explain what the situation is all about. Basically what we have to do is we have to mark our videos uh, whether they are made for kids or not made for kids. <clears throat> Which entails quite a number of things. First of all, if I were to mark my videos as made for children, then that uh, basically means that the videos will have different kinds of advertisement, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there would be uh, no notifications, as, as far as I'm aware. And and I'm still, I think the comment section would be disab disabled, although I'm not sure about that one anymore. So, uh, and also there's less revenue, but that's not going to be important for me, as I don't monetize my videos uh, by myself. So that's not that uh, relevant. Um, if I were to mark my videos as not made for children, so basically made for everyone, then things stay unchanged. Um, and it's been a bit of a tricky situation because uh, there's been a lot of talk about, uh, well, if you were to select your, like mark your videos as not made for kids and, uh, you know, some external, uh, entity declares it as still made for kids then you could you know be subject of a fine and such and there's been a lot of you know uproar a lot of uh, protest I would say about all that on YouTube specifically of course YouTube and um, recently there have been some updates on all that there's been some Q&A's and um, it basically Right now it seems like YouTuber, like YouTube animators, which use a lot of elements that could appeal to children, are fine. Now, the thing I am a bit worried about, it's, it doesn't feel to me like a guarantee. I know there's been a video about a week or two ago uh, from YouTube about, about all this kind of stuff. And basically what they say is, as even if, you know, if your videos are something that children can watch, doesn't mean that it's exclusively or specifically made for children, so you are actually safe to m when you mark them as not made for children. In any case, I've been I've been contemplating about all that, uh, and um, at the same time thinking about my channel, what I want my content to be, or what I want it to look like, and uh, which is what also like part of the reason I wanted to do, do a bit of a house cleaning just to know exactly what's on my channel right now and cut all the uh, cut, cut all the unrelevant stuff uh, irre irrelevant stuff sorry so yeah so this is my current situation uh, I'm not sure whether to um, I'm not really sure what to do to be honest however when it comes to my video video content on this channel um, 
it's safe to say they are not just made for kids. I mean, I, I, of course I use a lot of elements that appeal to children, but uh, my videos are also for people that are older than 13, that are adults as well. I mean, I use a lot of humor that is not necessarily uh, something that children, um, that is for children. Uh, I sometimes use um, images that may, might not appeal to children. So it's a bit diverse and I wouldn't just mark my videos so uh, completely as made for kids because that's not really true. So what I'm trying, what I'm going to do as we head into 2020 is I'm gonna mark my videos, all my bigger animation videos as uh, not made for children because that's what they are. They are not made exclusively for children. Um, and uh, that's actually the current stages. I, I just changed uh, all the videos to uh, not made for kids. But I'm gonna be thinking about that the next 48, 24, 48 hours. And I might change my mind. I'm not sure. Um, it, it, it is a bit of a tricky situation because it's, I still think it's not a guarantee that 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 YouTube animators like myself, like spread animators, are fine, are secured, are uh, you know, they're not guaranteed that not something like there's still something that could go wrong in all this. I feel like it. There's, it's like uh, it, it, there's something that is hidden. It it seems to me there's like I don't know. So I might change. I might change my videos to made for children later on. I'm not sure. I might do some testing. Over the next 24 hours, I'm, I may be doing it right now. I'm not sure yet, uh, as I'm making this update video. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, let you guys speak though, because I think it's important um, for you to maybe discuss this amongst yourselves. I mean, if there's any uh, fellow sprite animators watching, please feel free to tell me what should I do. What's the best option? Um, for me, there's three. Basically, I think there's three uh, options right now. Um, I'm going with the well, the, the best option, and that's the one I'm currently trying to um, apply. Is I'm gonna keep my videos unchanged, so not made for children as they are, and things stay the same, um, unchanged. The middle case scenario would be um, I switch my content to made for children. Uh, just because if, if, even if that's not really the case, I mean, I might have to do it. Um, so that could be the middle case option. Um, however, my fear with that is that once the comment section is disabled and there's no notifications and those videos no longer show up in recommendations, I feel like the videos, my videos start to become invisible, uh, not viewable really, and, you know, remain sort of hidden on YouTube and I don't want that to I don't want my content to be not uh, clearly available you see I want my content to be available accessible to everybody and I feel like this uh, like once you go made for children then your videos start to become invisible it's kind of what I feel that this this is so that's I really want to avoid that um, which if that's the case and I'm gonna follow the analytics on all this uh, over the next couple of weeks um, if I were to go with this scenario, like the the change it to made for children, um, if I notice that um, you know there's a big decline in viewership, like m like massively reduced number of people watching or even being able to watch it, then I might go the worst. I might choose to go with the worst case scenario, which is you know, depart from YouTube entirely, prematurely, actually. Well, not really. I would just, you know, yeah, worst case, I would delete my channel. <laughs> That's the worst case I can imagine. And I would move all my stuff, all my videos, like all the major videos, of course, I would move them over to Newgrounds, because I always had a Newgrounds account. U Newgrounds isn't, uh, isn't, um, isn't uh, you know, there's not that kind of problem on Newgrounds. So I might just head over to Newgrounds again and po post all my my v my older videos there, and I would post Sonic Archer 3 and K Ultimate Remix as well on Newgrounds. So that's the worst case scenario. So again, 
uh, people, let me know in the comments. What do you think? What would be the best way for me to handle this sort of thing? Like I said, I'm gonna go with the best option and uh, the best, I should say, best scenario and keep everything the way it is. So not made for children. And um, there you go. Worst case, you know, I make it for children, everything for children. Things go south and I move over to new grounds. That would be the worst case scenario. Discuss it among amongst yourselves. I mean, a lot of people are affected by this. I think there's been a way, there's been some uh, reassurance lately, but I don't think it's guaranteed. That's what I feel like. But but you can maybe you can convince me otherwise. Please feel free to to join the discussion just underneath in the comment section. And uh, let me also uh, take the opportunity to wish you all a happy new year, because I think it's right now it's the the 29th or or 30th. And yeah, there we go. Happy New Year, everybody. And I'll see you next year, hopefully with a few more videos before I reveal the big one, Sonic Ultra 3 and K Ultimate Remix. I know it's been, it's been slow, the, the completion on that. But I think, I'm pretty sure it's going to be done uh, over the course of 2020. Until then, have fun, take care, ciao.